It's a yes, no question. One question, one answer, yes or no. Do you love God? Hmm. Question number two, it's a yes, no question. Do you feel loved by God? Our parasha this week is full of the word love. I'm not going to tell you how many times I counted the word ahava, love, in our parasha. We're also in our parasha, multiple times, asked, told, commanded to love God. Some of us recite the Shema, actually, different parasha, twice a day, in the beginning of the day and the end of the day. Here we have that as well. Nonetheless, I want to ask, I want you to pause for a moment. Even in a moment, you can even hit the pause and sit with it. Think of someone you love very much and think of someone that you feel loved by. I want to ask you, what did you do? How much did you invest in order to come to that place of love and come to that place of being loved? Take a moment, think about someone dear, a partner, a sibling, a child, a relative, a friend. What were you willing to give? What were you willing to surrender? What actions did you take on? What life changes did you make in order to be in that relationship? Now I want to ask you, are you willing to do this in your relationship with God? And I'm not asking about the philosophy of love and the philosophy of what does it mean to love the infinite and the omnipotent, the omnipresent. I'm not asking philosophical questions. The truth is Maimonides, the Rambam, when he talks about loving God, he says like a, like a partner loves their partner. He actually says like a man loves a woman, like, part, like people. He doesn't talk about these major philosophies. He actually says love. We know what it's like. We know what it feels like. And I want to ask you, what are you willing to do? What are you willing to do to be in this love relationship with God? And you know, we're in a time of the year between Tisha B'Av and Tu B'Av, and, and we're heading towards the, the Yamim Noraim, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. And what's that going to look like? You know, Father Henry Nouwen, um, an amazing Dutch uh, minister, he says the challenge of our life is to show up in God's presence with the totality of who we are. Most of the time, he says, we only show up with our nice parts, and that's why our, life pray our prayer life is so, so lacking in so many ways, because we only show our nice parts. What would it mean to trust God with all of who we are? Those that we love most, they don't only know the beautiful parts about who we are. Those that we love most and those that love us most are the ones that know about our blemishes. They know about our challenges. How would it be the pasuk multiple times tells us to love God and also says to, do, to cleave to God? What, was, what would that look like? What were we willing to do? I want to ask you to join me in this journey. It's not easy, and I'm not saying, and there are days that I say, love you, God? I don't know about that. But the truth is, also I want to say, coming back to one of the Pesukim, Ve'ata Yisrael, and now Yisrael, Ma Hashem Elokecha Shoel Mimach, what is God asking? And I want to say Ma, like the Ma of right before the breaking, the splitting of the sea. Ma titzak elai, daberet b'nei Yisrael v'yisau. What are you calling out to me? But I want to say what, that is the lesson. We can stand in the presence of the divine and say, what is this? What is this about? What are we talking about? What? That's all it would take, one word, in the presence of the divine, with the love of, I want to say, pain, sometimes, anger, sometimes. They're all different manifestations and facets of what it means to love. I want to invite you to join me on this journey because it's not a simple journey, and I don't believe that we can actually do it alone. We need reminders and we need companions along the way, reminders of what, it, what that love feeling feels like and also the sacrifices and the gifts of the relationship. I want to invite you to join me on this journey to walking towards a moment of feeling God's love and a moment of truly being able to feel God's love and to be able to say, God, I love you. God, I love you. Shabbat shalom from Shechter.